Hello, Ian from Acorn here. So today I want to talk to you about shaving. Now, it might seem a very bizarre thing of why I want to talk to you about shaving. Um, I've recently bought a new razor. Anybody that knows me knows that I've always hated shaving. Um, kind of my, my throat always gets bumpy and all the rest of it. It's horrible. But that said, when I was out on site all the while, I would be clean shaven every day, as you've got to be essentially. Um, and the whole point of shaving for doing what we do as an analyst and a surveyor is so that the mask fits properly. Um, the, the mask fits around that area around your face, so it goes around your nose and your mouth and if you've got hair or stubble um, it can affect the, the fit protection and the fit factor of it. So when I talk about fit factor we go and basically get tested different masks to suit different people. You wear a mask, um, it's a port account machine, we do all sorts, moving heads, speaking, up and down on steps, light work, um, all that kind of stuff. And the machine essentially spits out a, a number at the end of it and says whether the, the mask fits your face or not. Now, every couple of years as a minimum, everybody should get re-face fitted, checked. Um, if you lose a lot of weight or you put on a lot of weight, and then again, you should get face fit checked. Now, I completely understand the whole annoyance of shaving, um, but it, it is a necessity. I mean, there are certain um, hoods and things like that that I know some analysts wear, which that kind of negates the reason for shaving, but surveyors and most analysts wear a, a, a kind of a half-face P3 fitted mask. Now, it's something to consider. If you see an analyst or a surveyor on your side that isn't clean shaven, that has got a full on beard, I mean, little goatees are okay if they fit within the, within the mask um, and, and that's within their kind of their paperwork that they've been fit tested for that, that is okay. But not on full on beards, not full on stubble, that kind of thing. So yeah, something for you to consider. If you see an analyst or a surveyor that is working on your site that has got stubble or a beard, what, what I would kind of ask yourself um, would be if, if those guys can't be bothered to shave so that their mask fits their face properly in order to protect themselves, then can they actually be bothered to do the job that they're carrying out for you um, in the same manner? If somebody can't, like I say, can't be bothered to look after themselves, are they going to be able to look after the job that they're doing for you um, or carry it out properly? And would they have that due care? kind of due diligence, due care and attention to carry out those roles. So that's just something to look out for. If you do see an analyst or a surveyor, I would um, question them on why they've got facial hair. And if they haven't got a hood mask and they are going to be sampling or entering an asbestos area, then kind of alarm bells should really ring for you. Um, but yeah, it just kind of sprung to me. I bought a new shaver the other day and uh, reminded myself last night when I had a shave of how much I hate shaving. But uh, yeah, a little kind of tip for you there that you can look out for the guys on site. Thanks.